Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, I'm Dory with the blog Blissful Life 5 and today I want to show you how to hang plates on your wall. I'm going to show you two different ways that I am hanging plates on my wall and show you how to do that process for each plate that I did it with. So first, um, I found these galvanized metal plates at Goodwill um, for real cheap. I just thought they were really pretty and so I snagged these and then I also found these plates at Hobby Lobby. After uh, the spring season, these were on clearance for I think less than two dollars. Anyway, so I grabbed these two and I thought they would be really pretty on the wall but I'd never hung plates on the wall before so I did some research and I looked at some different ways to do that. I knew that I didn't want the the plate hangers because um, the typical ones that latch onto the plates because then they have the little pieces that come and show over the top of the plate that I just didn't want it to show. I was looking for an alternative way. So I found two different kinds and I tried, decided to try both of them out. So I'm gonna share both of those with you today. First, I found these plastic ones. These were super easy to apply to the plate. Really, all you had to do was peel the sticker from the back of the plastic piece and then you apply it into the center of the plate. You just need to make sure that if there's a design on your plate that you're wanting a certain direction that you hang, you apply the hanger in the right direction so that it hangs the way you want it to. After you have placed the plastic plate holder on the back of the plate, you're gonna let the plate set overnight for 24 hours so that it can adhere to the plate. That one was super simple. The next one I ordered was this yellow disc that you apply to the back of the plate and it was more of a process to go through and so I'm going to kind of show you what that process looked like as well. First, um, you need to make sure that your plate is clean, so clean it and dry it off really well. You're going to need a bowl of water and with your fingers you're going to add the water and work it into the glue side of the disc. It's going to form a tacky paste and you'll do this for about a minute adding more water when you need to so that all the glue is activated on the back of the disc. You're going to let the disc set for three to seven minutes and then you're going to repeat the procedure again. You'll add the water, work it into the glue and once you've made sure that it's thoroughly uh, worked in all the way around you're going to let it set again for another two to three minutes. Once you've let the glue sit, you're gonna apply the disc to the plate. Again, make sure that the ring is in the correct position for your plate design. You're gonna press firmly and rub it really well to expel any air bubbles throughout the disc, and then you will also need to allow this to dry overnight for 24 hours. Then you are ready, once you have allowed them to dry for 24 hours, to hang your plates. So my plates are ready to go. Just to make sure, I'm going to give this a little tug and it is on there really well so it's ready to hang. I'm going to do the same thing with this plate. I'm going to give the ring a little tug and it is on there very securely so it's ready to go as well. You can see that we've already hung the other plates and I'm going to show you here in a second a really easy tip and a cool tool that you can use to hang plates or hang picture frames or anything so be sure to check that out here in just a second but these will just hang out here on the wall. really cool tool for you it's really handy for when you're hanging pictures or other decor and today I'm using it to hang these plates and so I will link this below but I wanted to show you how to use it first it's a hanging level tool so it's got a level here and a level here so you can make sure that your uh, pictures or your decor aren't crooked um, but it's also got this handy these handy tool things down here uh, where you can hang something from it and then you just push this and it's got these little metal pointers on the back so it makes a mark on the wall so you know exactly where to put your nail. So I'm going to show you how to use this, show you in action how, how it goes. So, okay, I'm going to hang this plate here on the side of my buffet. I know that I want it kind of right there and so I'm going to hang it 
I'm attaching it to the hook right there. I'm gonna hang it here. I'm gonna make sure that it's level. And then I am going to pull the plate off. I'm gonna push this down. And then you can see right there, it's made a mark. And so I know that that's where I need to put my nail. I'll just put my nail right there. It was a pretty simple process. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, drop me a comment and let me know um, if you've tried out any of these plate hangers or if you have something else you've tried, I'd love to hear about it. For more on our home, uh, visit the blog at thisfullife5.com and be sure to hit that subscribe button. We put out new material each week and we will see you soon.